start by taking a look at downtown Savannah right now. That sun has finally set over the river, but a clear and cool night over downtown Savannah. Temperatures dropping to the 50s for the moment, currently sitting at 55 degrees in downtown Savannah. Winds at 5 miles per hour. It was pretty breezy earlier. Winds were coming out of the west at 13 miles per hour. Again, they have calmed down, so 55 out there is actually feeling like 55. And across the area, we're still sitting in the 50s for the moment. These are the future temperatures going into tonight. So this is 9 p.m. for your Sunday. If you, if you do have any outdoor plans, I would suggest grabbing a jacket when heading out the door. It'll be 53 in Savannah, but as we move inland, those temperatures do come down a little bit. 49 in Reedsville, 49 in Metter, and even 50 in Statesboro. So another chilly night in store. And as we go overnight into your Monday, the temperatures only continue to drop. So around 6 a.m. for your Monday, as you're getting ready for work or for school, you might need to throw in some long sleeves. We're starting off in the lower 40s tomorrow, 42 in Savannah, a little bit warmer near the beachfront, 49 in Tybee, but some areas looking at the upper 30s for tomorrow, 39 in Reedsville and 40 in Valdelia. But of course, we will warm up as we move throughout your Monday afternoon by 12 p.m., hitting 59 in Savannah, hitting the upper 50s for the most part. Temperatures should be around 66 degrees for that high temperature for Monday, so a little bit warmer than it was today. But as we head into dinner time hour tomorrow, we do start to cool off once again to the 50s. It will be another chilly evening, and we are staying clear and sunny for the entire week. So this is 9 p.m. tonight. You can see we are in the clear. We did have showers last night, but they are gone, and we are clear and good to go for your Sunday evening and waking up for Monday will be a nice sunny and cool start. You should have an easy drive to work tomorrow. We are staying clear through the entire day. We could see a few clouds start to make their way into the area by noon tomorrow, but they make their way out and there'll be lots of sunshine for tomorrow. You might need the sunglasses when heading out the door. Again, highs will top around 66 degrees tomorrow, a little bit cooler near the coast at 60. Lots of sunshine and we'll be a little bit below average for tomorrow, so it will be a cooler day, but it is a big week. Thanksgiving is on Thursday, so here's your holiday forecast. Wednesday is the biggest traveling day of the year. It will be partly cloudy and warm here in Savannah. Wednesday will be the warmest day of the week at 74 degrees. As we head into Thanksgiving, it is looking dry here. Few clouds do start to move in. We'll be in the upper 60s near the average for this time of the year. And as we head into Black Friday, still a few clouds, but we are staying dry and mild. So your rain chances for the next few days are looking good. We're at 0% Monday Monday all the way through Thanksgiving. If you are traveling here in Savannah, you should be good to go and it will be dry and there'll be lots of sunshine and mild temperatures. So here's your certified most accurate forecast for the next few days. Again, Monday, 66 degrees for that high temperature. We do slowly start to warm up going into Wednesday, 70 degrees on Tuesday. We'll top off at 74 on Wednesday. Again, that's the warmest day of the week. But as we head into Thanksgiving, temperatures do start to drop a little bit. Sun or Thursday will be 68 degrees, cooler in the evening, but we are staying dry. Go ahead and take that Thanksgiving meal outside. If you have any outdoor plans on Thanksgiving, you should be good to go. And looking into the next weekend, temperatures will continue to stay mild and will be in the upper 60s. Now, if you like to stay updated on the forecast, especially going into Thanksgiving, go ahead and download the WJCL 22 News app. It's free and Google Play or the Apple app.